Hey everybody, it's Gilbert here. Welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. Um, this Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, we're going to be doing another bust, you know, um, the way of the dragon, chilling with the smog. And the boys and I um, are going to be doing another bust. We're gonna be doing it live um, so you guys can all see, you know, our process, um, how I do it, how the boys do it, and what the outcomes are gonna be. Everybody's going to have a different outcome, but you know what? The last uh, time we did it, you could see a vast improvement in these guys, and they're really loving the, the work they're doing. So for, for Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time here on Red Dragon Model Works, we're going to be doing Medusa. Now, I had a video prior to this um, where I showed you what we were going to do, and I you know, talked about some of the busts that we're going to be doing upcoming. Um, I think we're going to be doing one for Halloween also, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. So this bust here is Medusa. She was printed for us uh, for this uh, uh, class. The black you see down here was, um, the whole thing was was primed in um, SEM high build automotive primer. I use that primarily on my, um, my 3D figures. Um, it helps to whatever uh, uh, build lines are in there and whatever. After you do a light buffing and sanding, it helps to, to, to fill all that in. Steino Riz is great stuff, but it works too good. It adheres too good. You see everything, you know, every little detail. So you want something to build up, you know, so you fill in some of the imperfections. In the, in, well, not really imperfections, but what, whatever the 3D printer leaves behind. So she was done in the, in the black SEM high build automotive primer. Let it sit. Went on vacation, came back. Now we're getting ready on this Saturday to start working on it. So I told the guys in the hangout to go ahead and, and lay down whatever flesh tone they were going to use. Once they did that, seal it. That way they were ready for Saturday. We can just run right into either the acrylics. Some guys are using acrylics. Some of us are using oils. And they can go in and start laying it down once their base was laid down. Now as you see with her... I've got a flesh tone with a slight tint of green in it. Um, this is what I used, uh, Badger Stino Res. This is the black. It's a black gloss. I used that for her uh, the snakes and her headpiece. And then I got a Badger Stino Res here, light flesh. And then I went in with the Sotar. I cut it, went in with the Sotar, and then laid that down. And oh, very thin. I took some Pro Aqua Green. Uh, Monument Hobbies Pro Aqua Green, and I thinned that down. I mean, thin. I mean, almost very transparent. And then I went in, and in the shadows, you see the green. Now, I wanted a slight green tint to her skin tone um, under base. I'll lay my flesh tones on top of that. Hopefully, I don't blow out all this green that I got in here. Um, I want some of that to show through. If not, I can always go back over with some, some um, oils and stuff and, and reestablish that. But uh, there she is. So if you're going to follow us, guys, whatever base tones you're going to, whatever skin tone you're going with her, I would say to go ahead and lay it down, um, your, your base tone, prime it, and get ready for Saturday. And then on Saturday, we can go ahead and start laying down whatever we're going to do. I use the Badger Sotar 2020 um, at about 25 PSI to lay down this on her. Yes, you can use a, a Badger Sotar with Steino Res. You just got to thin that. Or warm it up, and I got a little uh, coffee cup warmer there with a glass jar. I put it in there with some warm water. I let it sit. It shoots out. It, it knocks down the viscosity of it, and it comes out like water, you know. So that's what I do uh, rather than thinning it with, with anything. But, uh, yeah, there she is. Again, she's got a slight uh, green to her, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to seal this, and then she'll be ready for Saturday. Um, I hope to see you guys here at Red, on Red Dragon Model Works, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And follow along with us. If there's any, any questions or anything you guys would like to ask, you can leave it in the live comments or you can drop me a, 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 a message on Facebook or on right here uh, um, on Red Dragon Model Works, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you. So, yeah, um, come join us, man. We're going to have a blast. We'll see you guys Saturday, man. Be good to each other. Leave the drama to the goddamn queens. Build or paint a model. It's Gilbert saying peace. We'll see you guys Saturday. Ciao.